I don't mean to alarm you, but if you're an aspiring wildlife filmographer, I just found a location to die for, and we're going to compare the RX-10 Mark IV versus the Olympus with the Panasonic 100 to 300. Is it worth going up to mirrorless? And we got the 100 to 400. Is that worth getting over this little guy? I came out at high noon when animals love to be out the highest point of the sun, least amount of danger, in my opinion. They love the heat. That's why they're not hiding in the shade. That's why there's so many, it's not one animal. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. I found a robin. Focus on him, Sonny. I know he's dark, but I believe in you. I believe you want to do it. And you are, oh, oh man, they're quick. Okay, for the first test, we get as close as we possibly can. It feels like I can touch the leaf. We're at the widest angle, so 24 mil. Okay, now we're on the Olympus EM-13 with the 100 to 300 at 100 in manual focus. This is as close as we can get, which is much further away than the Sony. Like, not even close. But we're at 100 mil, so let's go into 300. So this appears to be the closest focusing distance at 600 mil. Wow. It's basically a macro lens. Can we get any closer? No, we cannot. But that is pretty phenomenal, I must say. Okay, now we're at 300 mil. Much closer, much more macro-like in its abilities. How's it comparing to the Sony over there? Is it good enough? It's still very far away. It's like three feet at least. That's a ways away there. Stabe seems a little jerky. We're on IBIS plus digital, no lens stabe. That might be the wrong ass mode. Uh oh. Okay, now we're on the Panasonic 100 to 400 at 100 mils. Is it better? Is it sharper? Seems like it's possibly worse than the 300. I don't even remember. I just tested it. Oh, I suck. It's hard to even tell the focus. The peaking, that ain't showing up. Olympus has the worst. It doesn't even show you the distance scale. Okay, now we're at 400 mil. That looks sharp. That looks tack sharp. I feel like that's sharper than all the others combined into one Mama Jamma lens. Oh, wow. If only I had a better subject, like a penguin or something. Oh, stay in focus. So who's winning on the closest focusing distance test of life? It's hilarious. There's not one animal here. Not one bird. I suck at my job. Let's go to another location. What the hell am I doing? I expected a black fox riding a deer. What the hell happened? All right, I found a robin, but he ran away by the time I got my camera out. So I find birds to be kind of rude. They don't even stay for the shot. Okay, Sony RX-10, 600 mils. Here's the stabe as we track people on a bridge. This is a bridge test. And is it stable? Is it fantastic? Okay, now we're on the Olympus EM-13 with the 100 to 400. This is the much bigger, heavier, more expensive lens. It already seems terrible with that IBIS. I'm gonna try just lens stabe in a second, but you can't do dual stabe unless you get the Olympus lens most likely, but. Okay, now we have Panasonic lens stabe, no IBIS. Yeah, it looks even worse. Every stage I go through, it gets worse. That's not bad. It might even be better. It's very jerky. Sony wins. Okay, now we're on the Panty Boy 100 to 300 with just lens stabe. We got another human being brave enough to cross the desert. Oh, de oh no. Here's the 100 to 300 with IBIS and digital stabe, no lens stabe. It seems so smooth and then it'll just go jerky on you. What a jerk. What a jerk. Oh, there's stuff. Oh, let's follow it. Oh, the cinema. Oh, the smoothness of it. That's pretty smooth. I'm concluding that Panasonic 100 to 300 is better than the 1 to 400. 
based on this a useless test. So here we have Sony at its maximum 600 mils 4K. This is pretty much as good as it can do. We can do digital crop in, but eh, it's not nothing to write home about. Versus the Olympus EM13 with the Panasonic 1 to 300 at its maximum 300. So that's they're both 600 mil equivalents. This one looks a lot brighter and more detailed to me, but that was just the screen. Sony has a dark ass screen that you can't see a damn thing on. So, okay, now we're on the Panasonic 1 to 400 at 300, just to see how does it compare to the others in sharpness. Stape seems worse. It's the worst of the bunch. And if I zoom in, yeah, good luck with that. That's a stiff zoom. There, now that's the full 400, which is an 800 equivalent. And I find this combo to be unusable, stabilize. Oh, that is good times. That is good times. So you get this sharper image, much better, but then it's shaky as shit for more money. Oh boy. I found a bird somewhere. Is he still there? I can't even see him. Oh, this is the worst zoom ring I've ever seen. We got a bird. Panasonic 1 to 400. We're doing it. Oh, where'd you go? Come back. Come back to us. Oh, hi there. Name's Jack Biscuit Charm. Nice to meet you. I wasn't even planning to shoot a video. What's in the shot? That thing? I should be in. How we doing? We got Sony RX10 chilling there on a rock versus Olympus EM13 with the better one, the 1 to 400. We're both just at 200 roughly full frame equiv. This could be working. Who's the glory for this shot as I burn my back? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I could be in the shot. So flippy screen of zero use to me right now. Not one use. Who's tracking me better? Olympus, so far pretty good, even with the panty lens. Oh boy, we are probably in the shot. I have no idea if I have to duck. Do I have to duck like a freak? Who's doing it better? for this important shot. I know there's a cyclist coming and I'm creeping down like a freak. Oh, there's, oh my God, a flying duck. I've never seen a duck that big fly like that. I'm doing this stupid test. Oh man, it was like an eagle, an eagle duck or something. Oh man, I missed the deagle, the deagle hybrid. Oh, that, that's a bitch. That is a bitch. Nobody needs to do this with a telephoto lens. Why am I doing it? I could have got a deagle. He's going to feed his babies. Okay, flippy screen. I can see it now. But Sony, it looks like you're pointed a little lower. These tripods are a bitch. You gotta like aim up, tighten, and then it will maybe sink to your shot. I doubt it. Fantastic. Oh my god, I found a frog. Oh, he's there. Do you see him? I'm not close enough. Oh, he's leaping. Oh, that needs to be in slow motion. Come back. Ah, uh, we got a frog. We got a frog. Oh, oh my god, he's coming right towards me. Here's the froggy on the Olympus. 100 to 400 at 400. Oh, I tried to get a slow motion shot of him with the Sony, but there was too much going on and I'm waiting for him to jump and my framing was terrible, so he just jumped right out of the shot, but I got a little moment of it. Ah, uh, he's riveting. Okay, leap. Do a leap. Hey, little duck. Ah, uh, you're a duck. Is Sony tracking you? You're being tracked so hard. Oh no, the fence. 
How close can we get? He's gonna go under this bridge. Oh, baby ducks. Oh, the glorious ours. Panasonic 1 to 400 at 400. I'm balancing on a little fence. Ah, they're babies. They're all growing up. Man, even leaning on a fence, this isn't very stable. Wow. I suck at this. Cinema's ours. What's the slow motion look like? Okay, I've had a chance to review the footage. It's so tough because none of them are perfect. They all have their faults. Those disgusting Sony colors. Oh man, I was just looking like the greens of all, it's like puke green, vomit green leaves. I don't know what, and just magenta everywhere. That hurts, and it struggles a bit in low light, but it's so much more versatile. 24 to 600, the stab was better. Autofocus struggles a bit in the low light. That whole scene under the bridge, that was just bad business decisions right there. Just no light whatsoever, no flippy screen to tell if you're in focus. Oh, but then it has like the 480 frames per second. That frog looked pretty good to me. I had him framed on the other side for the longest time and I'm waiting for him to leap and I got lazy and I moved it. That sucked, that's on me. When it comes to the big boys, I found this cheaper, lighter, one to 300, much better. It just had better stabe. It was just as sharp, not quite. It was a little less sharp, but didn't have the reach either. An extra 100 mils, that goes a long way. But this one has the worst zoom ring I've ever seen. Like it's so stiff. You're trying to do it like you're shaking the camera. You can't even do it. It could just be your copy. Discovery camera lent me the copies. Terrible. And these metal, this is all metal. It actually hurts. I mean, I'm bleeding, guaranteed. The annoying thing about Olympus is when you go to the 120 frames per second, it looked pretty good and it crops in, which is actually an advantage. But then the manual focus was so hard. Just, you can't, there's no distance scale. The peaking, eventually you'll get it, but it wasn't easy. Whereas Sony is just all autofocus all the time in slow-mo. Even then, like it acquires the focus and then you lock it for the super high frame rates. I prefer that. I think the lesson we learned here is you go with the Olympus version on your Olympus camera. I don't know how the G9 would have performed today. So the 1 to 300, probably enough. It has no stabe, but the IBIS is kind of okay, and it might behave better with the Olympus lens. I doubt it. I don't know why it would. And then the 1 to 400 has stabe. Does it act in a dual-like fashion? I don't know, but Olympus kind of impressed me. It looked so much better than the Sony. The colors, the sharpness everything just the stable was worse so it's like we need a mark 5 where you give us a cine tone and fix a bunch of shit i'll make a video coming what i wish to happen in the r5 that's not even it it's the rx10 it's not even close and no i didn't use the black pro mist filter it's sitting over there i i wanted it on the first try it doesn't do well with that high frame rate mode is already super soft and then you throw this on there look at this thing Quality control, Tiffin. Tiff your mob. So I still have some testing to do to see if the RX-10 is worth keeping. It could be. It's so fun and versatile. Just those colors. What the hell are you doing to me? So let me know what you thought down below. Which one are you going to buy through my affiliate links? Either one's fine. Get whatever you want down there. Just give me a, a request. I'll give you a link. Is that illegal? I'm going to go. After you buy a Cameron Conspiracies t-shirt. Subscribe more videos. Hey,